Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm the editor of SparPoint Group and welcome to Spar Vlog for the week. So the question is, when does technology move from the early adopter stage to the mainstream? Basically, when its advantages are so obvious that the cost-reward calculation becomes a no-brainer. People begin to wonder why others wouldn't have that technology. And after speaking with a number of UK police officers this week in preparation for a larger report on the acquisition by 22 police departments of 37 total scanners, I think we might be reaching that point for police forces. It doesn't seem like it will be too long before every police department in the industrial world either has a laser scanner or is actively pinching pennies in order to afford one. Perhaps the clearest indication of this was brought to my attention by Gary Baldwin, who heads up crash scene investiga investigation for Thames Valley Police and recently purchased a Regal VZ400. When I asked him about whether he would use it for murder scenes and other crime investigations, he said, absolutely. And then he asked if I'd seen the video released by those investigating the death of Gareth Williams, the MI6 agent who was mysteriously found dead in his apartment, locked in a duffel bag in the bathroom. The video was actually a fly-through of a point cloud. Take a look. Sure, the general public, even the news channels, don't know what it is, but it's pretty obvious they scanned the crime scene. And literally everyone in the UK has seen that fly through by now. This case has been brewing for two years and they released it just to show people what the evidence was and that there definitely was foul play afoot. So could they have just released some photos? Of course they could. But the fly through really showed well, didn't it? It's that ability to present evidence like that along with the speed and accuracy of the data collection and the preservation of the crime scene that makes it a no-brainer. Baldwin told me matter-of-factly that it will become commonplace over here, he said, once they get the hang of it. And how long could that take? Will the rest of the world follow the UK? Certainly some police departments are already out there ahead of the curve, but it would also seem likely that there's going to be rapid adoption in the coming two years for even those who are conservative or cash-strapped. Now, maybe we just need to follow the path of the Olympics. It was the fear of long delays during the Olympics that fueled the purchase of these scanners in the UK. Where are the games next? I guess we can expect big sales in and around Sochi, Russia, and Rio de Janeiro coming up shortly. Get on it, sales guys, for all those laser scanner manufacturers out there. Anyway, we'll see if that comes to pass. Until then, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm the editor of SparPoint Group, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.